Hey guys, it's May May. And many times I have shown how to make this little cheater bow, but I've shown it in videos. I've never done a video just about this bow. And recently, a lot of you guys have been calling our office and asking where to see the video for this. And since there's not one, I thought I better make one because if you're wanting to reference it, you might need a video to show you. So this little bow is made with no fancy tools, no dies, no nothing. I'm going to show you how to do it. So this little guy starts with a six inch by three quarter inch piece of paper to get this size. You can see what that looks like in my hand. On the demo right now, I'm going to show you how to make this using a seven inch piece of paper that is one inch wide. Okay. And I'll put the dimensions for both of these below. So if you're looking for a bow that ends up being about two inches big, that's this guy. And we'll see how this one turns out. We'll measure it when we're done. So this is how easy this is. No fancy tools. Ready? A strip of cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half just like so. So the first fold gets us a V shape. This little guy is for later. I'm going to move him out of the way so it doesn't confuse us. So the first fold gets us this V shape. Then we're going to take the loose ends and we're going to fold them down to the middle. Okay, so we're just going to fold that down just like that. So there's one side. Then I want to fold the other side down into the middle. And then I'm going to show you that that gets us a W or an M. You can see how that looks like that. So it looks like this. All right, now while this, while this guy is closed up, here's what I want you to do. We're gonna make some snips, not at the free edge. Leave the free edge open. That's where you're gonna do your ribbon tails. So you don't wanna cut here yet. You wanna start at the opposite end of that. And what you're gonna do is gonna make some angle cuts. I just eyeball these. All you wanna make sure of is that your angle cut does not meet in the center. You need to have a little gap right there in the center. So I'm gonna to come to this side and I'm gonna do an angle just like that. And if you really need to be very precise, you can take this one you just cut and put it on the other side like this and hold it there and either trace it or cut right where it is. I'm just gonna cut right beside it. We're kind of making like the shape of a tag. There we go, didn't want it to fly off the screen. All right, so now my little points are all matching, okay? So now I wanna open these free edges up again. These guys are your ribbon tails. We don't wanna cut those yet. Here's what you should have at this point. Now we wanna make those same angles in the middle. Now you can freehand this, which is what I usually do. I just kinda of make sure that I'm not touching in the middle, but if you need to, you can go back to one of your pieces like we did on the first one and use it so you can line them up exact. Or at least really close. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little piece that we've made and these two center pieces are our bow loops. What I wanna do is I want to work them with my bone folder just to put a little bend in them, but only those two center pieces. I'm not messing with that end piece. That end piece is gonna be our ribbon tail, so we'll just leave it like it is and just work this so it'll have a little bend and a little curl to it. All right, now we're gonna open this guy up. We need some glue. I'm gonna take my art glitter glue and right in the middle on either side of the fold, I'm gonna put a dot of glue, just like that. Then with these guys, I'm going to bring this over and touch it to the center. We're making those loops now just by bringing this over and I'm gonna hold this up in the air in a second after this dries to show you what we just did. So you can see here what we did. We just took those two center loops and glued them down just like that. Then the next thing I like to do is lift that loop up and glue it to the tail there. So I'm gonna glue one side down, let that sit for a second. I'm just gonna put a little glue under here and glue this down. I find that this makes them a little sturdier if I glue that piece together. Now, your tails will be too long, okay? To get your loops the size you want them, these tails are gonna be a little too long. So I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit on either side. And then I'm gonna ribbon tail it. So I'll make a slice in the middle and then go from the corner to the middle and the corner to the middle. Other side the same way. So there's our basic bow, but we need that middle piece, right? So I just have a little strip that's about an eighth of an inch wide. And on the back of our bow, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just like this and then put this little strip down and get it started. So I'm gluing it to the back and then I'm gonna wrap it around the middle and I'll kind of hide our little workings. And it cleans it up and it makes it look so good. So if you make this bow and you think 
that it doesn't look great. See how this hangs over the edge? I'm going to trim that off. If you think it's not looking great, keep going. When you put this middle piece on, it just really changes the whole look and cleans it all up. So that is then our little cheater bow without anything fancy, no um, dyes, no nothing. And I just wanted to show you how to do it because I know that I've shown it in videos, but I never thought about I didn't have a separate video for it. So maybe this will help when you guys are looking. So easy. This one is six inches by three and a quarter. This one's seven inches by one inch. So if you need a bigger bow, just size up and play around and see what sizes work for you. There you go, guys, a little cheater bow. I know it's a quick video this week, but that's when you guys have been wanting to see, and there you are. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.